Hi, Jay. This is another Jeff, Jeff T. from New York, a very long-time listener and supporter. Best to the left prides itself on nuance, but nuance was unfortunately missing in the Israel and Palestine episodes. Listening, one gets the impression that the only solution to the occupation among Palestinians and the Israeli peace camp being debated is the one-state solution. I speak as someone who's been to Israel three times and whose wife has relatives there. I demonstrated in Tel Aviv against the occupation and settlements prior to the assassination of Rabin. My wife's relatives are for a two-state solution. They do not want to become a demographic minority relative to another national group, the Palestinians, with whom they've had decades of hostilities. We've seen in history cases where separate states are the best solution, the division of the former Czechoslovakia, the division of the former Yugoslavia, following the horrendous violence after the death of Marshal Tito. What you have in Israel and Palestine is two nationalist movements. The majority of Israelis and Palestinians want their own state. The most simplistic commentator in the two shows is, uh, is Amir Zar. He said, they drop bombs, we drop babies. Yes, we can be critical of Israel's conduct in Gaza, but Hamas also sends missiles into Israeli population centers. They're not as effective due to the quality of their weapons, not their intentions. Zar also says, we are proudly a demographic threat, confirming Israelis' worst fears. Then he comments on the Israeli population. He refers to the early founding of the state as a European white supremacist sort of thing. Actually, many were eventually Holocaust survivors who had nowhere else to go. The Holocaust confirmed the fears that motivated the founding of the state, Jews' growing desperation in Europe. He states that Israel brought in Arab Jews who don't fit in the Zionist ideal as so-called evidence, he cites their Arabic language and music. Well, many of these Arab Jews were thrown out of their countries when Israel was founded, and many are right-wingers. He states that some Russians are not Jewish. The majority are Jews, also unfortunately right-wingers. Most ridiculously, he states that Ethiopians speak their native language, so they also don't fit in. So what? You know, many immigrants speak their native language. I hear, I hear native languages all the time in New York. In the first episode, you had a segment with Elon Pape. He's among Israel's new historians who takes a more critical look at the country's history. We can refer to them as the Howard Zins of Israel. Among them are Benny Morris and Tom Segev. Pape is the most extreme among them and that he sees no justification in Israel's existence, but this is the one who was featured in the Israel episode. In sum, I love the show and its dedication to nuance, but nuance was sorely missing in these two episodes. That includes a discussion of the two-state solution, which many still see as the most realistic alternative among all the difficult alternatives. Thank you.